All right, I don't want to cry overly excited for this. Thank you for my brother Joey sending me this article. Rumors, Call of Duty 2017 to be set in World War II. Now, Call of Duty, when the franchise started, it was back in the old days, and then it got futuristic and futuristic. And now, it's saying that it's going back to World War II, which is really epic, because they were king and masters I do in World War II. As of now, for me, in myself, I'm still playing Battlefield 1 because I like that old feeling of war, man. Um, let me read this article. I put the link down below. Call of Duty 2017 is going back to World War II. Fans of the classic Call of Duty games may finally be getting what they have wanted in a, in a video by a YouTuber, The Family Video Gamers. A series of pictures are shown from what appeared to be the upcoming Call of Duty 2017 game in development by Sledgehammer Games. The picture appears to be marketing and materials and potentially concept art for the upcoming game. I want to show you this. You guys see it? Oh yeah. Oh, they're good at doing old war games, man. It was the best. I still own all the original. Uh, all the photos which you can see in the photo gallery on this article clearly show game being called Call of Duty WW2, World War II, that's it. For many fans of the Call of Duty franchise, the latest installment, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, was a disappointment. Call of Duty Infinite Warfare offers a fast-paced, exciting action. I, I, I like it still, the multiplayer online, because it's really fast-paced, as they are saying. But with jetpacks, robots, and futuristic weaponry off all shorts, the feel of classic boots on the ground, shooter action was missing. It would appear that with Call of Duty 2017, Sledgehammer Games is looking to return Call of Duty to its roots. The franchise is no stranger to World War II, has the first three games in the series in Call of Duty, World War are set in World War II, Call of Duty, Call of Duty 2, and Call of Duty 3 are set in the European theater and in the single player campaign. The single player campaign was so awesome. The player fights against the Germans. Call of Duty World at War focuses off the Pacific theater fighting against the Japanese and also the Eastern theater versus the Red Army. Finally, Call of Duty 2 Big Red 1 focused on the North African campaign including Sicily and Italy. Yeah, that, 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 I remember that. That was so good. So, Call of Duty will not be Sledgehammer Games first today in the Call of Duty world. The company also assisted Infinity Ward with the development of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. That was also a good one. And independently de developed Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. That's my least favorite one. The Advanced Warfare, least favorite. Was released in 2014. Advanced Warfare was met with reasonable success. Scoring an 83% on PlayStation 4 and 81% on Xbox One. The family... Video Gamers also goes to claim that the inside sources have confirmed the legitimacy of these photos. However, WWG has so far been unable to confirm that these are indeed from the upcoming Call of Duty 2017. If they don't turn out to be fake, someone went quite a bit of effort getting up hopes of fans of classic boots on the ground style of Call of Duty. So there's a, a photo gallery and they, they show you some, some cases, game cases, which is cool, but we don't know if it's real. Anyways, go check the article. You'll have a clearer picture. That That's an awesome box. Go, go check out Go check out the article down below. If this is real, the artwork of the box is awesome and everything. But wow, what an amazing article and some good news. If it, Call of Duty, that's what they did best back in the days. It was the World War II, World War I, the old stuff. If they're going back to that, it's going to be amazing. So, link down below the article. Go check it out. You'll see a clearer picture for sure.